2019 Super Aeronautique G21. This boat has an onyx black hull bottom, mystic white down the main and interior deck with white chromax lettering sitting on an onyx black Boatmate tandem axle trailer with the white wheels. This is an awesome looking boat, especially on the water, so be sure to check out our on water video when we get that uploaded. New features for 19 include the actuated tower. So this new tower folds backwards and we've got the bimini top, clamping board racks and JL 880 tower speakers on there. On the transom, Nautique surf system, our surf exhaust and our 17 by 17 prop underneath. And we'll get a look at those Chromax vents and logo on the back as well as your cooler. Also new for 19 is our frameless windshield. So all the G-Series boats have this. Um, adds a nice sleek look to the G-Series boats for 19. And up front here, you can also see the bow ladder and spare for the trailer. With the swing tongue on that. We'll peek inside, you can see the tungsten gray vinyl. And we'll get a look at the vents that come with this new windshield as well. And the anthracite finish around the accent piece there on the edge. A really nice touch on the new windshield a great looking boat from the outside. So let's hop inside and check out the interior features. Inside this G21, we have tungsten gray main vinyl with onyx black seat boxing and piping and frost gray texture vinyl. We also did the tungsten accents on this. So a lot of gray. We got the gray sea deck in here as well with the black stitching. Adds a nice little accent piece to, uh, especially on the rear sun pads and on the combing pads. Better look at that in-floor uh, in cooler on the back step. And again, our vents on the back corners. Get up close on that stitching. And as we step inside, you've got a C-deck step coming down into the interior as to not walk on your vinyl. We'll pop open our storage hatch back here. Tons of space, um, same amount of storage in this rear locker as either the G23 or the G25. You also have rope hangers slash life jacket hangers in the back to help get your gear dried out. And a nice look at these little details on the Nautiques uh, with, our, with our Galaxy badging. As we pop open the engine hatch, you'll see the ZR4 engine by PCM. It's the six liter motor with 409 horsepower, paired with a two to one transmission and 17 inch prop. Makes an awesome pairing on the G21. And also see, again, the little details on all of our Nautiques. We've got the vented vinyl. So all of our cushions in the entire boat are vented. So if they get any water, um, they're going to dry out for you and help this thing to last a lot longer. Get a look around our back seats here and we'll go ahead and bust open our storage compartments. Um, see that nice galaxy detail on the backsplash of the um, combing pad. Also new for 19 is our new soft sided cooler from Igloo included on uh, the G21. Sea deck throughout your entire storage area, um, all throughout the boat, has to help stuff uh, stay dry in there. Carpet gets mildewy. Sea deck dries out quickly to help prevent that. Back center seat is on the track, so you can slide and flip that thing open for some rear view, uh, some rear view seating for your passengers. And you'll see in a moment we also have the port side lean back that flips up. Kind of turns the G21 into a nice couch across the entire boat as all those seats line up. Um, a nice closer look at our tower. Um, to fold this thing, you just simply um, unlock it with the latch on either side, and then you've got a button that you press by the driver's side to fold it down. Check that out in a second. There's our Triton board racks. 
and our JL880 tower speakers are new for this year. We've got the neoprene covers on those. Those also have the down facing lighting on them. Obviously we have the white matte finish on this tower. Up top included is the Nautique Awareness Cam, the rope basket, and the rotating GoPro toe point. So you can mount your camera up top. The boat is set up with six JL interior speakers with a 10 inch subwoofer. You've got two amps in the boat, one for the tower speakers, the other for those six speakers and the sub. Self-supporting hinges on all the seats, so your cushions aren't in the way when you're loading gear in and out of your storage compartments. They stand up nicely for you. We'll go ahead and flip up that port side lean back. Thing locks in place. We also have the heated driver's seat and love seat. And on that lean back is a new a new locking mechanism. It's a little bit easier to unfold this or to fold the seat back down. Under our love seat, tons of storage space in the G series. Um, and again, you've got your amps and sub mounted in there, as well as your trash can. Other climate features in the boat are going to be your slide in air dam, which goes in the walk through up into the bow to keep wind from coming through. You also have access to your trash can through the walkthrough towards the bow. So nobody has to hop up out of their seat to get to it. In the glove box, we've got the toggle switch for the heated love seat, um, several charging ports with USB, 12 volts, and hookups for music, whether that be USB or auxiliary. The boat also has Bluetooth. And it is set up with the JL head unit. So the entire audio system is 100% JL audio. Everything communicates well and sounds amazing. So look at the inside of those new vents on the windshield. So they're on a friction hinge, so they just stay wherever you leave them. We also have window tint on the windshield. Awesome detail on our dash. You can see the stitching, um, especially down in the cubby here. And up top, you got your accent piping, um, charging ports up underneath there as well. You've got the phone holder on the left side. You can see that black texture vinyl up top. And then our link pan array screen, which sits nice and low. And it's gonna have all your functions on um, for running the boat other than your ignition. Um, you got rider presets, ballast monitoring, cruise control, maps, uh, you name it, it's all on the Link Panera screen, which is fully touch enabled, as well as um, you can control it through the rotary mouse right next to the throttle. Boat includes a keyless ignition. And there's a better look at the helm command. You've got quick toggle keys up top for volume, rider presets, as well as speed control. So you can hit the little pop-up and get to those little things you might adjust on the uh, need to adjust on the fly pretty quickly. And then you can spin that mouse um, to make those quick adjustments. So really handy and easy to navigate our screen. The touch is super responsive and it's easy to see this thing in the bright sunlight. We'll go ahead and power that down and take a closer look at our steering wheel. So we've got the premium steering wheel in hand-stitched leather. So a nice softer feel to this and uh, the cool detail with the stitching around it. Driver's seat is adjustable, has the flip-up bolster, also slides and swivels, and the tower controls are just behind that seat. So you hit those up and down to bring the tower to a folded or upright position. Premium oversized mirror option on this G21. 
And as we come up into the bow, you'll see the windshield's also on a friction hinge. So it just stays where you leave it. So it's not going to uh, slam on you as often. Cup holders up front. Tons of space in the bow of our G-Series with this flatter nose. The G21 has the pop-up cleats, and we've also optioned on the Fender Pro system, which I'll demonstrate really quick. Uh, all your fenders actually fit under the seat on one side in the bow, so tons of storage space in the nose of the G-Series. And um, so what we do is keep our Fender Pro clips tied to the fenders at all times, so you can pull them out and they're ready to go. And you just lock them right into your spot right there and your fender can hang over to the side without having to use up all your cleat space if you're tied up with other boats and when we talk about little details on our our nautiques we even have the branded windshield stoppers as well so pretty cool setup on this g21 again an awesome looking boat great features on this um, obviously awesome wakes and performance if you have any questions on this G21, give N3 Boatworks a call, 317-845-9253. Thank you so much for watching.